Tad Jackson of Midway Family Dental. If you're not smiling as much as you'd like, a visit to Midway Family Dental may be all you need to start smiling again. If you've thought about dentures but were afraid of the price, we can help. We offer same-day dentures at a very low price that will have you smiling again at no time. Please call Midway Family Dental today at 912-880-2288. Once again, that number, 912-880-2288. Celebrating 50 years as the sports leader in Southeast Georgia. W-I-F-O-F-M, Chesapeake. Fox News. I'm Chris Foster. President Trump on Twitter says House Speaker Nancy Pelosi is guilty of treason and should be impeached for pursuing his impeachment. An attorney for the whistleblower reporting the president's request to have Joe Biden investigated in Ukraine says he represents another whistleblower in the intelligence community with firsthand knowledge of events. House Intelligence Committee member Val Demings, a Democrat, said these accounts make what is happening clear to her. Abuse of power. Representative Chris Stewart, a Republican also on the committee, says the most the new whistleblower can do is confirm there was a call. Why should I care at all? Both were on Fox News Sunday. That's Fox's girl, Scott. The new Supreme Court term starts today. Among the issues to be heard this term, civil rights protections for LGBTQ workers, abortion regulations, and efforts by the president to rescind the DACA program for so-called dreamers. Fox's Jared Halpern. America's listening to Fox News. The Fox News Rundown is a weekday morning podcast that dives deep into the major and controversial stories of the day. Hosted by the anchors of Fox News Radio. Subscribe now to hear a perspective of news you won't find anywhere else. Listen now by going to foxnewspodcasts.com. Living the Bream is a podcast hosted by Fox News Channel's Shannon Bream, sharing inspirational stories, personal anecdotes, and an insider's perspective on actions and rulings from the high court. Subscribe and listen now by going to foxnewspodcasts.com. America's listening to Fox News. Brett Bear. When someone watches the news, they want someone they can trust. Our job is to cut through the talking points. Martha McCallum. We're going to ask the tough questions because there's a lot of conventional wisdom out there that needs to be challenged. Shannon Bream. What I'm doing is making sure that whatever is developed through the day, people are fully informed from coast to coast. We're 24 7 news, but we're really down to the minute. We're going to be fearless. We're going to be fair. Whether it's 4 a.m. or midnight, we're there. Fox News Channel. Real news, real honest opinion. Since 1946, Murphy's Builder Supply has been serving the folks of Jessup, Wayne, and surrounding counties with quality products and knowledgeable service. Matter of fact, they feel they sell service first to make sure you get exactly what you need for your home improvement projects. And with each employee at Murphy's being there for 10 years or more, you know you're talking with someone with the experience to help you with building supplies, tools, paint, and all the things you need from a full-service hardware store. The best choice in home improvement is Murphy's Builder Supply, 156 Northeast Broad Street, Jessup. For the best car wash at the best price, then go to the new Nips Car Wash, located at 459 Highway 301 South, down from McDonald's in Jessup. Nips Car Wash features state-of-the-art IQ automatic car wash system. Every car or truck that enters the automatic IQ wash system is scanned to capture its unique vehicle profile to give you a great car wash every time. Nips Car Wash also features two self-service bays where you can choose from a variety of accessories such as foam brush, tire brush, bug off, wax, clear coat, and spot-free rinse with powerful blowers located in each bay to top off your car wash experience at an affordable price. For the best quality car wash around, go to the new Nips Car Wash located down from McDonald's on the left on Highway 301 South in Jessup. That's Nips Car Wash with a state-of-the-art IQ automatic wash system on Highway 301 South down from McDonald's in Jessup. The world-famous Butch and Bob Show on WIFO FM Jessup brought to you by Nips Car Wash and Murphy Builder Supply. Good morning, Bob. Good morning, Jonathan. We've got several guests in the green room. We've got one in the studios with us right now. That is Jill Blizzard with the Wayne Moore Hospital. As this is October Breast Cancer Awareness Month, we've been promoting the Girls' Night Out events every Tuesday and Thursday. Some important notes about the Girls' Night Out, though, you have to have a appointment by a, ordered by a physician. So, again, there's several numbers to call. But, Jill, you get all the information, so I'll just turn it over to you. Again, talk to Joe Friday night. He said these are very popular events every Tuesday and Thursday. A lot of women taking advantage of this opportunity to have these early screenings because that's the key is early detection exactly you're right um and first of all good morning everyone uh thank you for having uh us again we really appreciate it 
um, October is the month of pink. And um, I appreciate you plugging the Girls' Night Outs events um, all the way back in starting in September. But for those of you that haven't heard, um, we do an event every year called Girls' Night Out. Um, and what we're doing at the hospital is we're staying later. We're working extended hours um, all the way up until 7 o'clock. Someone can make an appointment, and then and the mammogram is usually completed by 7.30 um, to accommodate more women more time to get that very important screening mammogram. And like you said, early detection is the best protection and um, the way that you do that is of course you need to go through your own personal physician first they just need to give you an order Um, you can do that with a phone call to your doctor and then you just need to call the scheduling department at the hospital and if you've got a pen and piece of paper handy I'll give you those numbers Um, you've got three choices you can dial 912-530-3197 or 912-530-3272, or 912-530-3230. With your physician's order in hand, you can go ahead and, and make an appointment. Um, but we are we are glad to do it, and we are happy to do it. It's every Tuesday and Thursday in the month of October, with the exception of Halloween, because um, October 31st, Halloween falls on a Thursday this year. So um, it's going very well, and it's always popular, as you said. Um, we also have a couple of other events uh, coming up. The first one is this Wednesday, October 9th, and the second one is uh, Wednesday, October 16th. Uh, these are Women's Wednesdays, and the goal is to encourage women to be examined for breast cancer and to understand the seriousness of the issue and also to educate them about the issue. So we have a booth set up in the main lobby, just steps from the front door, from 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. each of those days, Wednesday, October 9, and Wednesday, October 16. And ladies can learn about it, um, as, as well as men. Um, pink refreshments will be offered uh, by our cafeteria. Uh, we have some door prizes related to breast cancer education, and folks can register for one of two free mammograms to be given away, uh, and that's worth several hundred dollars. Um, and then the next item that we have coming up is Thursday, and it's the pinking of the fountain, and we're doing that in partnership with the city uh, and Molly Hall. Um, this is uh, an annual event for the past few years, um, and I'm really excited about it this year. Uh, we have a great um, crowd that's already kind of assembled on Facebook through the Facebook invite that the city sent out. AKA Molly. <laughs> and um, at, that is this Thursday, October 10th at 1 p.m. at the train depot. We'll start out there and then we'll um, take it outside to pink up the fountain. So. Hey, Molly. Molly's hey. in studio. Good morning. Thank you for having me. Um, yeah, we're excited about the Pink of the Fountain. We do this every year. Um, it's a really special event. It's one of one of my favorite things that we do um, because it it's so meaningful to those survivors. And um, we have a great speaker planned this year. Diane Muggerditchen is going to come and share her journey with us. Um, she is a two-time survivor. And, um, and so she is, she's going to be able to come. She wanted to be here this morning, but she was not able to be, but, um, she's going to share with us and, and we're going to have the, the pinking of the fountain and balloon release. So we're really excited about that. Um, we hope everybody will come out and, and show their support for the cause. And it takes place this Thursday at one. At one o'clock at the train at the depot. Fountain, at the train depot. Yep. So John's had a question, you know, you do the pinking of the fountain for, Breast cancer awareness. He wants to know why you don't do it green for St. Patrick's Day. <laughs> well, I'm not sure if it is the same significance. <laughs> no, but, um, but is there a way to do it green for St. Patrick's Day? I'm sure there is. Okay. Yeah, okay. I'm sure there is. Jonathan said, I just said, we'll ask although, him. Um, <laughs> although the way our fountain is, um, the dye kind of cycles out after a little while, so it, I oh, mean, it doesn't. It doesn't stay. Food coloring isn't that, isn't that normal well, that they use? I know. That, I think that's what they do. It's, it's a little green. stronger yeah. than food coloring, but yeah, it's a it's a kind of dye. So it, it evaporates. The pink will evaporate over time. Right as the cycle, yeah. as the fountain cycles, and you know the chemicals right. and stuff. 
But okay. well, again, getting back this Thursday, pinking of the found <laughs> for breast cancer awareness month. Again, Diane Bugger Ditchin will be the guest speaker. Again, you've had some great speakers in the past. Like Hannah Keith's been there one year. Last year it was Melvin Murphy. So yeah. these women come, they give their testimony, and again talk about how important it is to get the early diagnosis. Yeah, and Becky Phillips is, works at the hospital when she's gone through this. Uh, it's yes. in the press release where she says it's treatable and beatable if yes. it's detected early enough. Yes. So that's the important thing. That's why you, it's so important to have this service. And, again, every October the hospital provides this for women. Again, you can get one as late as 730 to every Tuesday and Thursday. So. From what Joe says, it's pretty well attended. A lot of people take advantage of it. Yes, and and if you think about it, um, a lot of folks cannot leave their their work. Um, maybe they maybe they work out of town, and so they're getting back into town at five five thirty six o'clock. This is ideal for them. Um, or maybe there's there's a mom with uh, young toddlers at home, and and her. And she can't have she can't secure a babysitter to go, but um, once husband comes home, maybe she can go. Um, but it's just it it is popular, and people are taking advantage of it. And um, we would just definitely encourage if you are listening out there, um, have a conversation with your doctor or your physician staff, um, and see if it's time for a mammogram for you. Um, we have uh, the 3D uh, technology as well, so not all hospitals have that. So um, it's important, it is treatable and beatable, particularly if caught early. And as you said um, about Miss Becky, and we've shared this before, she's been on the show before, I believe she was diagnosed at age 37, I believe. So um, it's, it's just important to just be on top of it and um, not, not delay it. All right. Anything else from the hospital or... We're going to be going to Molly. And yes. Um, yes. We'll go ahead and, and, and uh, let them talk. Okay. But thank you very much. Well, we appreciate you coming in, Jill. Like I said, you're always welcome anytime. Anything else I'm not going to the hospital, we'll have you back in. But we're going to take a quick break, switch to the city. They've got the Arch Fest coming up and also the Pink and the Fine. But, again, appreciate you coming in. And thank you. We'll be back with uh, Molly and the DDA right after this timeout. Murphy's Builder Supply is where you need to go for home improvement projects and hardware needs. They've been serving folks in this area since 1946. Murphy's offers some products and services that you may not know about. They now sell ammunition, both bullets and shells. Murphy's also sells personalized tags for dog collars. They build customized screens for windows and doors. Murphy's can re-key locks, and of course they can make keys. They cut glass for windows, plus Murphy's has monthly door buster specials. Check their Facebook page to see what's on sale. Murphy's Builder Supply, 156 Northeast Broad Street, Jessup. Our customers comes first at First Franklin Financial. It's not just a slogan, it's the way we do business. Since 1941, we've been helping our friends and neighbors in the Southeast with their financial needs. We offer personal loans, bill consolidation loans, and more. So stop by our office today. We're conveniently located at 1074 North Macon Street, or give us a call at 912-427-4237. You can also start your application online at www.1ffc.com. All loan terms and applicable APR depends on meeting our underwriting and income criteria for the loan size requested. And may require collateral. Georgia Residential Mortgage License number 5656. Welcome back. More of the Butch and Bob Show. Again, Molly Hall reminds, remains with us. Uh, the DDA has got the Arch Fest coming up last Saturday in October, and you got a special guest with you. I do. Than, so tell us what all is taking place for the Arch Fest. I do. Well, um, I have with me today one of my DDA board members, um, Debbie Smith. Good morning. Good morning. And um, she is also on our Arch Fest committee. So um, Arch Fest is coming up. It's um, a little less than three weeks away on October, Saturday, October 26th. Um, it will be an all day event. It'll kick off around 10 a.m. And then, um, after the, the festival kind of dies down that evening, we'll have a concert downtown, um, at the fountain and the arch. So we are locating the stage and the entertainment at the arch this year. Um, we've shifted stuff just a little bit, um, and going to have vendors set up on Walnut Street and Macon Street. And leave Cherry Street open this year. So, and, uh, and you're going to be back with the next city council meeting. You were at the last city council meeting trying to get a concert event taking place, but all the details have to be worked out. They want security and they want it restricted to a certain area. So, I'm right. sure you're working the, all that um, out. The concert, I don't think, is um, is going to be a problem. We are trying to secure a, a vendor to be able to sell alcohol down there throughout the 
concert, and so they wanted a few more details right. about that. Who the vendor was, and they weren't restricted, so I'm Correct. sure that can all be yeah, worked out. the heat off of us as well to let someone else right. just handle that. Well, and like I said, you, you have the open container law, so you can't just walk down other streets. So they weren't restricting that one area, so I, right. think, I think people understand you're going to have wristbands and things like that. We've done this in the past, so yeah. I'm sure the commissioners seem to be – Yes. on board they just wanted more detail so sure. hopefully that'll work out is lance Stinson still going to be the concert is that yep. correct yep will that they sell correct. tickets to that or will that be a free concert it's we're hoping to do it as a um a free concert you okay. know just uh, um something to add to arch fest add um have a community event that evening and right. and you so know something for everybody to enjoy sounds good so Again, the last day, and the good news is it doesn't fall on George Florida weekend this year. So, That's correct. So That's she, correct. She have a bigger, we, better crowd. I hope so. I hope so. I hope everybody will come out and and support. You know, it is a um, it is a big process putting all this together and, and getting all the vendors to come in. And um, Debbie's been on the committee for several years now. She knows exactly um, how much work goes <laughs> into it. And it's a lot. We start months and months in advance, and I think. You know, people see what they see on that day, and they don't realize that we've started back in March talking about it. And we we look at what we did the year before immediately after and say, okay, you know, this is what we need to make different. Um, Trying to make it, you know, good for everyone. You know, you want to touch all walks of life because it is a great thing to bring people to our downtown area. And Um, soon the scarecrows will be around town and they'll announce the winners at the Arch Fest, right? Yes, And what else will they announce at the Arch Fest? Aren't there some other events that they announce? Um, Law Enforcement Officers of the Year, is that the Arch Fest? Yep, that's correct. The Exchange Club will do the public safety awards that they've done each year. Um, That'll be in the morning around uh, 1030, right after the opening remarks. Um, and then we'll have some entertainment, local entertainment throughout the day. Young Attitudes will be there. Gina's Gems will be there. Um, Jeff Chandler is going to perform. The Cruising Line Dancers. So we'll have entertainment throughout the day um, at the main stage. How about Corky's Karate? Are they going to be on here? They're not. They're not going to be there this year. They no. started a new circuit or went back on a different okay. circuit. So, you know, they're kind of missing out yeah. on some of our local stuff. Mm-hmm. They have a competition. Yeah. They've a yeah. great show in Odom for the Odom Days. So I know. Yeah, they always do a great show and bring a great crowd right, when they do so. come. They okay. do. They do a fabulous job. And um, I, we did reach out to them. And, and Understand. they, Sometimes unfortunately. Schedule, yeah. Sometimes schedule just doesn't allow. But yeah. they, they do put on a good show. But, again, no Kiss the Pig contest this year. So no, um, we haven't had that for a few years now. Right. Um, Normally they have a fundraising event to go along with it, though. So you don't um, that. We are. We do have a raffle going on this year um, that we've done every year. This year it's all cash prizes. Um, it, it's called the Holiday Gift Raffle. It was started years ago um, just to give people um, ho- extra holiday prizes they've done in the past grills and um all kinds of stuff but last year we started with a cash raffle so um all cash prizes five different prizes and we're doing that again this year and the proceed a portion of the proceeds will benefit united way of south georgia and where are the tickets available tickets are available at city hall or they are five dollars each or with any DDA board member. Or with the DDA board members <laughs> or committee okay. members for Arch Fest. Um, I think some of the A-team members have some. But the first prize is $500. The second prize is $200. The third prize is $150. Fourth, 100 And fifth, 50 So, good Sounds good. some good money. Always pop their event. So, again, the date again? It is Saturday, October 26th. And it'll begin at 10 a.m. and the concert will begin at 7 a. 7 p.m. Um, we will have the car show again this year, the Cla- Wayne County Classic Cruisers. They'll be out there. Um, we'll have a kids area set up with all the inflatables, pumpkin patch with where kids can paint a pumpkin. Yep. And um, so it should be a good good time. Sounds good. And. Uh, Debbie is here with me to promote Arch Fest, but she's also got an event coming up at the end of, or the middle of November that she would like to, to mention. So on November 16th, we have, um, the Bunko fundraiser. So you ladies get ready to throw some dice. Um, it's $25. Of course, it's tax deductible. And we will have a great meal. Um, I call it dinner, drinks, and dice. 
Um, it's going to be at the Coastal Pines Technical College. It, the door will open at 5.30 and we'll eat at 6. And then we'll start rolling the dice at 7. Um, it's only $25, which is a really, really good um, price for these Bunko fundraiser tournaments. A lot of the United Ways in our local area, in our uh, region, are doing them. Um, so I just kind of jumped on board with that. I think it's going to be a great thing. Um, it's really fell into place. We've got some great door prizes, and you get most wins, most losses, and most Bunko prizes. So it's just a good time for a bunch of ladies to get together and get to know each other. Um, and it's for a great cause. Um, my United Way covers eight counties and 23 agencies. We are in the midst of our campaign right now with you, with Rainier for the month of October, but my campaign runs from September to November. And 12 of my agencies are right here in Wayne County. And then I have four others that, that touch Wayne County and support Wayne County. So, you know, we need the support back because we, we support some of these, um, these agencies around here. And I also have um, Dr. Hugh Armstrong was very grace, gracious to donate a large green egg. Um, and he um, gave that to us to ra- raffle off. So we will announce that winner that night. But we're only selling 100 tickets for that green egg. And they're going to be $50 each. So I think it's valued around $1,300. It's got the nest and everything. So um, I'll have those raffle tickets ready to start selling. I think they should be ready this afternoon. Um, but I think, you know, 50 bucks to be able to get one of those. And I'm only selling 100 because I want it. I want everybody to have a chance. I think it would be, you know, give everybody more of a chance to do that. So we've got some great things coming up. And um, if you have any questions about what United Way does, my office is in the chamber building. I'm I'm always available to answer any questions. Sounds good. Okay, we'll look forward to both events. Anything else, Molly? I I think that's it right now. I well actually no, I do have one thing. Um, I as. You guys know the damage to Hurricane from Hurricane Matthew damaged a lot of the McMillan Creek boardwalk, right. um, and it was closed for repairs for for quite some time. And so we have that back open now, and we are planning to do a ribbon cutting event or a, a reopening event and have some of the family there that was instrumental in um, in getting that project um, implemented to begin with. So we are going to have that on Monday. October the 21st at um, 10 a.m. So. Sounds good. Looking forward to that. So, like I said, it's been a lot of work trying to get that back. You know, the commissioners wanted it back open, but it did do a lot of damage that storm. So, so looking forward to having that back open. Appreciate y'all coming in. Thank you. All right. You thank coming you. in next week as well? Yep. Okay. We will be we'll here. We'll take a week. final break. One more thing to talk about when we come back after this timeout. For the best car wash at the best price, then go to the new Nips Car Wash located at 459 Highway 301 South down from McDonald's in Jessup. Nips Car Wash features state-of-the-art IQ automatic car wash system. Every car or truck that enters the automatic IQ wash system is scanned to capture its unique vehicle profile to give you a great car wash every time. Nips Car Wash also features two self-service bays where you can choose from a variety of accessories such as foam brush, tire brush, bug off, wax, clear coat, and spot-free rinse with powerful blowers located in each bay to top off your car wash experience at an affordable price. For the best quality car wash around, go to the new Nips Car Wash located down from McDonald's on the left on Highway 301 South in Jessup. That's Nips Car Wash with a state-of-the-art IQ automatic wash system on Highway 301 South down from McDonald's in Jessup. And then a Loki Walker Jones. At Walker Jones, the most new cars means fresh trade-ins every day. And the Walker Jones Mega Center picks only the very best, runs them through our vigorous inspection and repair, then sells to you at tremendous prices. Most even qualify for our lifetime warranty. Walker Jones Used Car Mega Center, Memorial Drive in Waycross. Get the best deal from Walker Jones. 820 on this Monday morning here at the Big Dog WIFOFM. But Jonathan, you know, we love to give things away here on the radio station. And during this Georgia Tech football season, Georgia Tech sent us a lot of tickets to give away. Those are promotional tickets. Uh, somebody sent us a notice that somebody tried to resell them on Facebook. That's against the law. You can't sell those tickets. These are promotional tickets. Anything the radio station gives away are promotional tickets. Wild Adventure, 
that by anything we give away, they're promotional. They don't have a price on them. You cannot give them. You cannot sell those tickets. So, yep. again, that person who did that will be banished from winning anything on WIFO from here on out. And, again, we're just warning people that is against the law to try to sell those promotional tickets. So just want to get that message out to people. So, again, if you win something here on WIFO FM, you can give them to someone else, but you can't sell those tickets. So, again, that is a big no-no. So, again, there's no ticket on – there's no price on that ticket because they're promotional tickets that they give away. So, again, just want to get that message out. That is a big no-no, not lawful. Yeah, yeah. So, please don't do it. It's like what – like what, I wonder if they said like you know, on coupons where it says cash value one one-thousandth of one cent. But yeah, so, people people will try anything. Yeah, it's just not 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 cool, not yep. good. So please, just send that message out there. If you win something here from WIFOFM, if you can't use it, either bring it back or give it away. But yes, again, you cannot sell those promotional tickets. That is a big no no. <clears throat> so. Again, I think we had that problem with Wild Adventure tickets years ago. So Yeah, they have they've yeah. gotten very, very stringent on the right. requirements so, because actually right. what had happened at one point was someone had created a bogus website for pretending to be a radio station and was mm-hmm. taking and turning around and selling the Wild mm-hmm. Adventures passes. Mm-hmm. So. <laughs> Unbelievable. Yeah. But again, Georgia Tech, we got more tickets to give away during this football season. So again, just want to get that message out there that those are promotional tickets with no price on them. So, again, you cannot put them on Facebook and sell them. That's not good. So, yeah. just want to get out. Braves baseball today, again, 3 or 7. Big win last night. I'll tell you, that was a great pitching duel between Wayne Wright and Soroka. Both went into the eighth. Uh, the Cardinals got a run in the second, led one zip. They pulled Wayne Wright. With the bases loaded in the eighth, two outs, the reliever got the the out in the eighth. So the Braves were down one zip going to the ninth, two outs, one man on second. Uh, Donaldson got a double in the inning. McCann came up. They intentionally walked McCann to get to Swanson. Swanson first pitch rips a double off the left field wall to tie the game. Then Adam Duvall comes up and gets a two-run single. Braves win 3-1. Great dramatic comeback yes. for the Braves in yes. St. Louis uh, again. Shocked the Cardinal fans. They thought for sure they were going up two games to one. But the Braves now with a chance to close it out today in St. Louis. If they don't close it out in St. Louis, they take a travel day tomorrow and come back for the decisive game five in Atlanta. So, again, I know Braves fans would love to see them just close it out today. But yeah. if oh, they yeah. do not win, there is a fifth game back in Atlanta. So, what is today's, Somebody texted it, and what is today's pitching matchup? Uh, they were still trying. I think Keiko was going for the Braves. They were deciding between Keiko and Julio Tehran, who they put on the roster once um, they had the injury to the yeah. the other pitcher that left with the. When did they? Oblique. When did they change? That used to used to be, wasn't it? That you could, if somebody got injured, you were short until the next series is when yeah. you could bring somebody up. Apparently, you know, they've changed yeah, the rule. They changed the rule. Right. Yeah. The, the guy left. You know, the reliever. I can't. His name escapes me. Yeah. He left with the oblique muscles. They put Julio Tehran. Back on the roster, so, but again, they were debating whether it was going to. I think Keiko was getting a start, but mm-hmm. they were. You know, we can find out on the pregame. That's at one fifty-five yeah. this afternoon. Three oh seven first pitch. Here's another one. Here's a question. Cardinals for you. going with their ace. Their ace is back on the mind. So. Uh, let's see. Here's your question for you. How do you think Georgia play this weekend? And do you think these slow starts are going to hurt us against a quality team? Well, you know. I think Georgia's fine. As long as Jake Fromm is a quarterback, Georgia's in great shape. As long as they keep him upright, let him throw the ball. I mean, I don't understand why the slow start. I think Tennessee was just sky high. You know, Pruitt, you know, was ready. Tennessee, uh-huh. you know, but once Georgia settled down, got into the game at halftime, you know, they came out and shut them out in the second half. So right, I think right. Georgia's fine. They got South Carolina. Georgia still has a tough schedule. They got some tough games. Florida looks awfully good. Auburn looks good. Texas A&M is a tough game. So, mm-hmm. you know. Speaking of Auburn, somebody else, another question, are you surprised that Auburn lost? I was not. I had Florida. I told Florida got six players back for that game. You know, They were either suspended or injured. Right. They got six of their defensive starters back. And in the swamp, tough place for a rookie quarterback, you know, freshman. But, you know, I just – I had Florida winning that ball game. <clears throat> yeah. You know, so – 
didn't surprise me. Now, were the were they going to now if they beat LSU at LSU, I'll be surprised. <laughs> <laughs> I got LSU winning that game Saturday at Baton Rouge because LSU looks awfully, awfully tough. All right. <laughs> one final text here. What time does coverage start and what station? That will be at one fifty five with the pregame right here on WIFO FM. Must it be nice to get it over with and you know, it looks like the Nationals and the Dodgers going to you know, Dodgers are gonna be tough, but yeah. I think the Braves got a chance if they can you know, keep on playing well, getting good pitching. Well that's the kind of momentum swing coming back like that yeah. that can carry you. Boy Swanson he crushed that ball off the left foot wall. I mean first pitch. The the reliever for the Cardinals Martinez, I mean that's twice he's given up three runs in a relief role, so I don't think we'll see him trying to close out any games against the Braves from here on out. I'll be shocked if they put him back on the mound because twice he's gone out there and given up. You know, he had the Braves almost came back in that other game where yeah, they yeah. blew the lead and, you know, but he gave up three runs there, but they fell up short. But they get a big win yesterday in St. Louis, and that was a huge win for the Braves. And Braves definitely have the momentum going into today's game. That's 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 yeah. Oh man, that was that was a, a really exciting yesterday. I was yeah. sitting there listening to it, and it's like, oh no, we're going to be behind the eight ball. And then Tell you what, that, Wayne Wright was fun to watch pitch. I mean, a lot of people know Wayne Wright from Glen Academy. He went out there and pitched a great game. Had him shut out for through eight innings, and like I said, ran out of gas, and they pulled him in the ninth. But he has to be. He's the one's probably kicking him. You know, had a chance mm-hmm. to get a playoff win, but right. unfortunately, the bullpen couldn't hold it. But Soroka had a great game as well. I mean, that was a great pitching tool. If you like good pitching, that was the game to watch. I mean, both pitchers just throwing the lights out. It was fun to watch. I have another question here. Are we going to be streaming the game? The answer is a emphatic no. We are not allowed to do that. They will take away our broadcast rights. If we're caught, you get like three three strikes. Was that streaming the Braves game? Yes, no, we, 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 we are not allowed. We are not allowed to do that. They and they check. We have we have one time forgot to turn it off until about the second inning, and we got an email saying this is your first warning. Right. Two more, and you're you're done. So we have, we're very very careful not not to stream it. Now some stations will leave it on, and you may be able to find it somewhere, but they're not supposed to stream it, and we can't. All right, anything else we need to cover this morning? Like I said, governmental meetings, county meets tonight. Touchdown Club meets tonight again at 7 o'clock at Western Citizen. should be fun. Like I said, they've got a new feature now where they show little video highlights of some of the uh, highlights of the games at the Touchdown Club meeting. The members are enjoying that, so I'll look forward to that. A lot of highlights from last Friday night's game. Mm-hmm. Big that, win. In fact, that whole game is, on, thanks to Brad Test, and that is up on YouTube. All right. You can watch it. You yeah. can watch it, and it's paired <laughs> with you and, and Bob. And as a matter of fact, it is live on Periscope. I think we've got the timing issue. Uh, Figured out yeah. it was, you were only about a, you were only about a second ahead this 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 Friday. Sounds good. So it worked pretty well. Okay. All right, that is it for the world famous Butch and Bob Show. Brought to you this morning by Nips Car Wash and Murphy Builder Supply. Eight twenty nine here at the Big Dog WI.